doing all kinds of beadwork on the altar cloths, on the priest's uh, vestments. Um, so her brothers and sisters came to see her after a while and said, Rose, why aren't you coming back home? Oh, I'm happy here. My mother lives here. My father lives here. So they exhumed that whole cemetery because they were building a highway. When they opened the grave of Rose, Rose smell, she was not corrupt. But you know, the church says she has to go back in the ground for 20 more years for a test to make sure it is authentic. So she's, I think it must be close to the 20 years and they will build a shrine and one day she will be Saint Rose Prince. She loved the residential school. This uh, lady who went to residential school with other chiefs who put a blog, I uh, watched it, read it. She said, I became, I went to the residential school, I loved it, the best years of my life. My parents were trappers. They would leave for months in the spring and in the fall, they would leave us alone to fend for ourselves. At least we had three good meals a day we were clean, uh, not fancy food, but we, it was nourishing. Discipline, we all need discipline. Abuse, scandals, there's some abuse and scandals in any institution. It always happens. The nuns and priests were very good to us. The lay workers, not always. I became the first woman chief in Northwest Territories. And she goes on and on and very, very, uh, she says, over 50% of the natives had a good experience. And many others who had, um, who, um, well, if they wanted extra money for the money that was given to them, they had to lie sometimes, lie that they were abused sexually, oop, another $50,000. So it's kind of hard if you're poor not to lie. but. All of the ones I met, they always said they, they liked the, the residential schools. A few, a few, there's a few that had bad treatment, but uh, some who were sexually abused, it was not by a priest or a nun, it was by a, a, lay, a layman, a night watchman.